Revelation chapter number 18 verse number 9 and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning let's read this in the complete Jewish Bible the kings of the earth who went whoring with her and shared her luxury will sob and wail over her when they see the smoke as she burns. The kings of the earth will cry and bewail Babylon the Great. This mother of harlots why is Babylon the Great so bad? If we go back to the scripture, the scripture tells us when Jesus was questioned about what's the greatest commandment, and Jesus said, the, He said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one, and thou shalt love him with all thy heart and thy soul and thy mind and thy strength. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two hang all the law and the prophets. Love. Loving God and putting nothing before him. Keeping all of his words, all of his commandments. Doing what he is asking us to do. And loving your neighbor as yourself. Babylon the Great is founded upon greed and self. And total disregard for others whereas the laws of God are totally in agreement with loving others and loving God Babylon the Great is completely opposite whatever feels good do it if it's right for me do it And this is so acceptable in today's society. That's the reason why the scripture calls it the mysterious Babylon the Great. Because it's accepted as norm when it's wrong. God, in the name of Jesus, we actually to touch hearts and minds and help people to wake up, help people to see, and help people to turn their hearts and minds to you. Thank God. Amen. Have a great day.